Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Jess, welcome. So as you can see by the title of today's video, I am bringing you guys a Timu haul. I have quite a bit of packages right next to me here and we're gonna just be unboxing them. I think that this video in particular is mostly gonna be like an unboxing haul slash showing you guys like the product up close and then I'll create a second video the following week where I will put all of these items to the test or the items that like require testing. We will make a video solely dedicated on that because I feel like there's a lot of products here so this video is gonna be a little lengthy and I don't want it to be too long so we're just gonna separate them into two different videos. So if you guys want to see me unbox all these items and if you guys want product details and all that fun stuff or if you're just curious and wanna know what I got then just keep on watching. Okay, so here are the packages that we're gonna be unboxing. Let's start with this first one right here it is quite big I have two of them that are big and then one of them is actually already open because it actually showed up at my neighbor's door and they accidentally opened up the package without realizing that it wasn't addressed to them so that one is already open but I haven't like opened up each item individually so we're gonna do that together Okay, so this is everything that was in that first package. So first of all, we have one, two, three, four smart sensor lights. I'm actually curious to see how well these work because I do need some sensor lights in areas like my pantry. Okay, so right off, I'm noticing that there's a difference between what was on the box and what I actually got. So the wood here looks like a dark walnut and here it's more like a light colored wood which I thought it was gonna look like this, not like this, so there's that. So here's a close up of the light and this is magnetic, so this part sticks to the wall and then this just sticks onto that, which I do like in case I needed to ever like get it off the wall and walk around with it, I could. In the package came the instructions as well as like a charger. So on this piece of paper, it says that you can actually stand the light up three different ways. So I know the suspended one works and the hand one works, but the one where it's like standing, where it says flat wise, that one I'm kind of skeptical about because as I'm like trying to set it here, it's like hardly holding its balance because it's top heavy. So I don't know how that would work, but the other two ways work just fine. So they all have the dark walnut exterior packaging and I'm curious to know if they all look like this one. Do any of them actually come in this dark walnut? Okay, so this one's also light. So is this one. And my guess is that this one will probably be light as well. Yep, it's also light. That's kind of a bummer. I was hoping that at least one of them would be a dark walnut color, but I guess it's fine. I don't absolutely hate this color. I just wanted something a little darker, but that's fine. So let me show you guys a close up of the actual like bottom part here. So here on the bottom, it has a charging port as well as the on and off buttons. So the switch does have three modes. It has on, off, and auto. The auto mode will detect human activity and it will turn the light on for 15 seconds and then automatically turn it off. I'm actually really curious to see how well they work and how much they can actually illuminate because like I said I need them for my pantry and my pantry needs to be pretty well lit so let's hope that these actually work pretty well but you're gonna have to stay tuned for my next video when we actually try out these products so next I have this mat right here which has this backing that's like a little sticky and it sticks onto the dashboard of your car you can put like your phone or a camera or anything like that on here and it comes with a phone mount as well and it also came with these like numbers that I wasn't expecting to get but I am curious to see how well this works and if it'll actually keep my phone in place it's a good size I do like that I can hold a lot of stuff up there and the quality doesn't feel super flimsy either. So again, I'm curious to see how all of this will actually work. So I'm assuming I have to peel this sticker off and stick it onto the circular part of the mat to keep it in place. And I do not understand what the purpose of these are, but I guess it's good to have them. I don't know. This is so pretty. So this is a picture frame and it already comes with a print, but you can of course change the print if you want, but it's very vintage. I love the detailing on the frame. It's such a good size. And I believe I got it in a bigger size because I liked it so much. So we'll see if it's among all these items here, but this one is so cute and it has this little kickback stand. You can remove the photo and add a new one because it has the little thingies here to be able to do so. 
and overall i think it's such a beautiful shape i love the detailing even the actual like print in there i love you probably won't see this in the next video because there's really nothing to test out here but it is a very cute home decor piece do you hear that i honestly think that this is the bigger frame of the one that i just showed you but i think it's shattered yeah, you guys, it arrived completely broken. That makes me so sad. I have to carefully like get rid of all this little glass. I'm gonna bring my vacuum, BRB. A few moments later. So not only was the entire glass shattered, but it's also broken right here on the bottom. Right there, it has that crack. I'm so sad because this one was also really pretty. It has a different print as you can see as the previous one. Let me grab the other one though. I can show you side by side, but this is the other one. They're just so pretty. It's such a shame that this one came completely shattered. Oh my God, and it's also broken over here. Do you see the crack here? So there's this crack, this one on the bottom, and I wouldn't be surprised if I see any more. I'm gonna try and glue it back together because I really wanna keep this frame, even though it doesn't have the glass on there because it's such a beautiful frame and I definitely don't wanna throw it away. And I also really like the print. I'm just so bummed out, aw, how unfortunate. Let's cross our fingers and hope that the rest of these items arrived in one piece and that there's no more broken glass. Okay, next I have this Smooth Sailing Anti-Gravity Humidifier. They must have just sent this to me on a whim because I didn't order this. I guess let's open it up. So this is what it's supposed to look like when it has water in it. It's supposed to just like drip water down like so. And this is what it looks like out of the packaging. It does look pretty cool, I will say. It has a pretty cool look to it. Definitely doesn't look like a humidifier. And it comes with the charger, well, the USB plug. A lot of these items don't come with like an actual wall plug. It just comes with like the USB part of it, which I find a little annoying, but whatever. And then it also comes with an instruction manual. So this was the biggest item in the package. Let's take a look and see what is inside. So let's pop it open. Okay, yeah, I remember this. So this is a rice dispenser. As someone who cooks with rice quite often, I would say with almost every single meal, this is essential, not only for storing, but also for like grabbing. I will say that this is way bigger than I was anticipating. I thought it was gonna be a lot smaller. So you put the rice in this compartment here and then the front has this little clear piece so you can see how much rice is left inside. And then you push this here button and it kind of just like dispenses the rice into this little clear cup with a handle, which goes right here. And then this is the lid. The lid has this like clock looking thing on the outside. I'm not entirely sure what it's for. My guess is to write down when the expiration date is for the bag of rice that you just threw in here. And then it also has this here that when you take it off, it has like these little vents. I'm not really sure what this is used for. You have to ventilate rice. I don't know. But anyway, that is why I got this to store my rice and just make it easier to grab. I just push the button, grab my cup of rice, put it in my little thingy to rinse it out and then start cooking with it. This is pretty handy. I'm excited to try it out and see how well this button works, how much comes out and all that good stuff. And the last thing that was in the package was this Christmas decor that I got for next year. So it's essentially a garland and this is what it looks like from far away up close. Again, looks very artificial. The little pine tips have white and then it has fake little pine cones. It does look and feel very plasticky, but I think once everything is up and decorated, you really won't be able to tell. I think once each individual piece has been like fluffed out, it'll definitely give it a little bit more volume. Okay, now the question is, will I be able to fit it back into the bag it came in? The answer is probably no. So I'm gonna just leave it there on the floor. I'm gonna move this package and leave it here and we're gonna open up the package that my neighbor accidentally opened because it's already open. Starting with the first item in the package, this is a citrus juicer and I'm so excited for this because warmer months are coming around and I love me a freshly squeezed juice in the spring and summer. Something about when it's cold outside, I'm not really called to drink like fresh juices once it starts to get warmer, I love me a fresh juice. And also how fun would it be to juice your own fruit and then make popsicles for the summertime? Like, oh my God, I love that idea. So I'm very excited to have this and test it out and see if it's actually worth it, if it actually works. 
but we won't find out until the next video but here is what the actual product looks like and what is inside so it has this little lid that locks in and out of place which is nice once you open it up it looks like this so that it can hold down all the fruit that's in there there's the power cable this small little thing that I'm not entirely sure what it is yet then there's a the part that goes into the fruit so that you can like squeeze it and all that jazz and then the inside just looks like this it has a pretty decently sized container for how small it is. The little charging port is right here in the back and it is covered by this little silicone piece, which is nice. So that way the port isn't exposed. It has a pretty good weight to it as well. And then it also came with the instructions. I'm curious to know how well this is gonna work because it feels pretty nice and I like how small it is. So that'll be really easy to store if it does work well. So hopefully this works so that I can make some fresh juice at home. Apparently Leopard is making like a comeback, which honestly makes my heart happy because there was a point in time when I loved like zebra print and leopard print and to hear that the trend is coming back is pretty freaking awesome. So I have here this leopard printed makeup case and it has gold zippers, which is nice. The leopard and gold always looks good together. So let's open it up and see. Also on the outside, it does have a handle right here, which is very important so that you can carry around the little makeup case. And on the inside, it has this very large mirror, which is fantastic for travel. And it looks like it does have a LED light all around. So here is the blue light. It has yellow light and it has a neutral light. So warm, cool, and neutral. And then on the inside, it has this little thing where you can store your makeup brushes and it comes with this flap so that it can protect the makeup brushes. So there's 10 slots for your makeup brushes, but each slot is pretty wide. So you can definitely fit more than one brush in each slot. And then in here, it has these little divided sections so that you can store and organize your makeup however it is that you want. And then in here is obviously the charging cable for the mirror. And then it also came with this, which I believe is a magnified mirror. Yes, it is a magnified mirror with these little suction cup thingies that you can stick onto this mirror or onto any other surface really. But I think that this is great. So if you need like close-ups for, I don't know, tweezing your brows or applying a lash, you can just stick it on here. And now you have both a magnified and a non-magnified mirror. I really like that you can actually remove these dividers and add them to any of the slits within here to customize your own sort of layout for whatever it is that you're carrying inside, which I think is fantastic because having the ability to customize the sizes I think is just so important. The mirror quality also looks pretty good. It doesn't make me look like distorted or anything like that. You know how some mirrors will kind of make you look a little weird and you can tell it's just like a really low quality mirror. This one looks pretty good and the magnifying glass also looks pretty dang good. Let me tell you, this thing can zoom in quite a lot. It's definitely telling me that I need to groom my eyebrows, I'll tell you that much. Another thing that I'm noticing is that it has these little clip thingies that you can actually tighten. So if you need this to be like more straight, you can always tighten it to make it stand straighter or if you need it to lean back a little bit more, you just loosen these up. So I like how you can customize how far it leans back by adjusting these straps right here. I'm actually pretty impressed by this makeup storage case and the outside of it feels like it can be easily wiped down, which is a plus. Okay, so next up I have this cylindrical screwdriver set. It is a precision multi-tool set and it comes with tons of different attachments. So this is the cylinder case that everything comes in and I like how compact and small it is. It's gonna make it really easy to store everything. And the way that it opens is it just kind of rolls open like this and you have everything that you could possibly need. So taking a look at all of these little heads or attachments, I'm noticing that I'm not finding a standard size Phillips or a standard size like a flat tip screwdriver. I see a lot of flat tip screwdrivers, but none of them are like your standard size. And I see a lot of Phillips, but none of them are a standard size. These are all very miniature, which I definitely was not expecting. I was thinking that there was gonna be like normal size ones, like the standard size, but again, these are all mini, and so that's kind of a letdown because I thought, okay, great, I'm gonna have this because my husband, God, I love him so much, but he misplaces things all the time. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get me my own personal set and keep it in a safe place. That way it's not gonna be misplaced. 
and I was very excited for this, but now that I'm seeing that they're all very miniature, I'm kind of bummed, I'm not gonna lie. Although I do think that this would be great for working on small devices like computers, glasses, you know, anything that has really small screws, I think this would be great for that. But anything that's like standard size or bigger, this is pretty much useless. But I will say that I am making assumptions because I haven't actually tried these out for myself, but just going based off of what I'm seeing, I'm not seeing any standard size heads. But we'll find out when we test all these out. And then the last item that was in that package is this one. Let's take a look and see what is inside. So I believe that this is a trash can. It has slots here for batteries. And I think that this right here is a sensor. So whenever there's something hovering above the trash can, I think it will open, but I'm not entirely sure. But what I do know is that this is extremely lightweight. The only thing that's giving this any weight is this right here, but everything else is really, really light. And when I open it, look, you'll probably be able to hear it. You hear that? So this tells me that this opens up automatically and I believe it does so with this sensor right here. So we'll find out how this works once we put batteries in it and test it out. And we are down to the last package, which let me say is very, very heavy. Let's see what it is because I have genuinely just forgotten what is in this. Yeah, this is what weighs a bunch. I wonder what the heck is in there. We'll find out here soon enough. Starting with this item, it feels really lightweight, and if I'm not mistaken, this is an organizer for your eggs to put in the fridge. All right, so here's the little box. It says egg box, and it also has that same dial that the rice dispenser did, so that way you can take note of the expiration date, which honestly I think is pretty handy. And then it has this little drawer here, and when you open it, it doesn't open up all the way. So the max that it opens is to about like right here, which kind of sucks because you really need to be able to access all the eggs unless they roll to the front. I don't really know. I guess we'll find out when we test this out. I can't tell if it arrived damaged or if it's just like badly made, but there's like a scuff mark right here. And then right here where it meets, there's kind of like gapping. It's also like that on this side as well. Overall, just like the quality of the actual container, it's not that great, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like how, where it meets, it's kind of like all wonky and weird. If it works, great, but craftsmanship wise, not that good. All right, next up we have some LED strip lights. I got these to put in my husband's game room because I'm really trying to like make that space really cool. I love to decorate spaces, okay? If there's one thing you gotta know about me is that a bitch loves to decorate, okay? And I want to give my husband the coolest game room ever. And so what screams game room than LED strip lights? Like little gamer rooms are all, you know, lit up really cool. He already has a couple in there that look pretty cool, but I'm just trying to take it to the next level. And so I got these and we're gonna find out if they're any good and if they actually work, but it comes with two of these little packs and then this and then it comes with this i believe is where you attach both of these and it kind of powers everything i'm not entirely sure but it also comes with this pretty big remote that has tons of different options and of course your user manual so next up we have a portable heater that plugs into a wall outlet and i got this because i am someone who is constantly cold and who doesn't want to take a shower in a nice warm bathroom when it is really cold outside? And so I thought, you know what? This looks like a pretty interesting gadget that we can try out. So this is the size of it, which is pretty good. It's almost the size of my head. I didn't think it was gonna be this big, but that's nice. And as you can see, it has this here. So you just plug it into the wall and then it'll heat up your space, which is fantastic. I need something like this because I like when the bathroom is nice and warm so that when I go in there and take a nice hot shower, it's very warm when I get out and it's not like cold and uncomfortable. And of course I could just make it hotter in the whole house, but I think this will be a little bit more cost effective than heating up the entire house when I just really need one room to be nice and toasty. I like that it comes with a remote control where you can set a timer, change the temperature, change the speed, and it of course comes with an instruction manual. I'm curious to know how well this works because if you have a really small space and you need something to heat up said space, but don't want something that's gonna take up any floor space or counter space, this is a good option. But 
we first got to see if it actually works and if it's actually worth the purchase. This next item is 100% my husband's and it's something car related. So this is a three stage automatic smart battery charger for motorcycles, cars, ATVs, etc. And it looks like this. It comes with the jumper cables, the power cord, and the little box so this right here has an input of 100 to 240 volts you know what i'm going to just show you the back because if you know anything about cars or whatever all this stuff you'll get it and if not then you're like me kind of clueless so stay tuned and i'll let you know if this actually works or not because i will probably never use this and the last item in this haul is this very heavy box that says glass containers so let's take a look and see what it is i hate styrofoam oh my gosh i can't even tell you it's like nails on a chalkboard so these are food storage containers that are pink how freaking adorable is that i love the food storage containers that have these snapping lids i feel like they're way more secure than the ones that you kind of just like put on top so there's two different sizes there's this one and then the smaller one both of them are such a nice size for different things and the quality of the glass feels so nice and the quality of the lids feel pretty good as well and I love the pink. So there's a total of five big ones and five small ones and I'm just so happy that these didn't arrive damaged because that would have just been so tragic. And that you guys wraps up all the items in this Timu haul. Comment down below which of these items you are most interested in and if you did enjoy the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notification, that way you are notified every time I upload a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so, so much, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.